Here comes another day with another amazing video we are about to show you. In today's video, you are going to witness the most amazing and unbelievable supersized mega projects being built in China. So if you are here to watch some colossal mega engineering projects, this video is right for you. Hi, good day to everyone. This is Arthur and welcome back again to our channel. And now before we get started, click the subscribe button and ring the notification bell so that you don't miss any of our great contents. And without further ado, here we go with our video. Number one is main structure of world's second largest hydropower station. The power station is located on the upper section of the Yangtze, Stradling Yunnan and Sichuan. It will become world's second largest hydropower station once completed. Bai Hutan is significant in development of the Yangtze River economic belt and adjustment of China's energy structure. Officials say the project can each year cut carbon dioxide emissions by 52 million tons. During the construction, efforts are also made in ecological protection. Number 2 is Girder Installation of Hutan Rutiang Railway. Construction of girders along the Hutan Wutiang Railway in northwest China's Xinjiang was completed. There are 219 bridges along the railway line, including 19 grand bridges. Five bridges are built over sand with a total length of 53.7 kilometers. The rail line is an important part of the world's first desert railway loop line surrounding China's largest desert. It is expected to be put into operation in 2022. Number 3 is Track Laying Completes for China-Laos Railway. The track laying of the double track railway in the China section of the China Laos Railway was completed, moving closer to its opening to traffic schedule this year. The China Laos Railway stretches more than 1,000 kilometers of Kunming, capital of China's Yunnan province, to Vientiane of Laos. Upon completion, it will slash the travel time between two cities to less than one day, according to China State Railway Group Company Limited. Number 4 is World's Tallest Rigid Frame Pier Bridge Cap in Southwest China. The main pier of Jinyang He Bridge, which is 196 meters high and located in Jinyang County, southwest China's Sichuan province, was successfully capped, setting a record for the world's tallest pier of a rigid frame bridge. According to the construction company, the biggest challenge in building the bridge is the valley's strong winds and long rainy season. Number 5 is 12,000 workers upgrade 405 km long railway in 11 hours. Over 12,000 workers of China Railway Group Company Limited work in tandem to renovate the railway. In 
It is part of Beijing Harbin Railway Line, an artery connecting North and Northeast China. The renovation is completed in 11 hours. It's expected to boost transportation capacities in Northeast China. Number six is workers complete major tunnel along China Laos Railway. Chinese workers have completed the Manmushu Tunnel along the China-Laos Railway under construction. Last of the 15 tunnels, it is over 10 km along the 1,000 km rail line. The railway system is scheduled to open this year. Number 7 is record-setting bridge open to traffic in southwest China. A bridge built as part of a poverty relief project open to traffic in the township of southwest China's Yunnan province, setting a new record in civil engineering methods of bridge building in Asia. The bridge is 22.8 meters wide, with four lanes running across. This will ease traffic pressure, complete the traffic network and improve the living conditions of residents. Number 8 is China successfully tests autonomous train operation system. China successfully tested its train autonomous circumambulate system in a test section of Qingdao's subway line number no. 1, East China's Shandong province. The domestically developed system can greatly shorten the train's tracking and turn back intervals, increasing operating efficiency by 15%. It can also solve the difficulty of adding trains on lines with large passenger flows. When facing emergencies like station fires or trackside failures, the system offers greater flexibility for subway operations. And that's all there is to it for today. Once again, this is Arthur. Thanks for watching and see you in our next video.